So here's a picture of me when I was 14. It's not really me, but it could be me. At the shopping line, lining up with a big bottle of fucking Coke in my, in my hand. Because when you're a kid and you got two bucks to spend or a dollar to spend, what are you going to get? You can't buy fuck all fruit for a dollar or two bucks, but you can always buy something sweet, sugary like chocolate, a thing of ice cream on sale, or some donuts on sale, or some soft drink or whatever. But fruit, his equal calories of those, his pack of donuts, 50 cents, and his equal calories roughly from bananas. So you got 50 cents or whatever, dollar fifty versus eighteen dollars. <laughs> can you imagine as a 14 year old, hey dad, mom? Can you can I, can I have eighteen dollars to get a meal of bananas? <laughs> They're gonna go, what the fuck? Here's two bucks. Go and buy some chocolate or donuts on sale. <laughs> that's the world we live in. That's the that's the system designed to have people sick, fat, and nearly dead. That's the design. That's that's it keeps the whole system going. It keeps people fearful of each other because they're all feeling sick and shit, and they haven't get enough sleep, so they're getting getting all psychotic and shit. So they're like, fuck, we're getting terrorists and attacking each other when the terrorists are like the food companies and the cigarette companies and the alcohol companies. That's the terrorists, you know. How many people do you know die from terrorist attack versus heart disease, cancer, stroke, obesity, diabetes, complications, etc., suicide, drugs, stuff like that. That's the real terrorism, in my opinion. It's not some person from some country, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not that at all. Does that make sense? Like, how many of my family members have been killed by the cancer industry, heart disease industry? It's a fucking lot. Terrorism? Never even heard of anyone. I don't even know of anyone who knows of anyone who got hit a genuine terrorist attack that wasn't government orchestrated. <coughs> one, one. <coughs> a bit chessy today, a bit wintry out here. See the winter? A bit wintry there. So it's crazy, though. That's why I, I really have a lot of respect and admiration for the parents out there who go against the system and, and do their best to feed their children nourishing foods when it's so hard. It's socially hard because your kids go to someone else's house and like, here's some ice cream, here's some shit. And it's like financially hard because it's like 18 bucks versus 50 cents or dollar fifty for the same calories of donuts, you know? <laughs> so it's like... And it situationally can be difficult as well because your kids are like, I'm hungry, Dad, or I'm hungry, Mum. It's like, great, let's go and find some fucking healthy food. Fuck, there's nothing. There's, there's McDonald's. Okay, I'll keep driving on. There's Wendy's. I'll keep driving on. There's KFC. I'll keep driving. There's fucking Sizzler or whatever. Or just, you know, it's just hard to find good, nourishing food. And then even if you eat... Then even if you know what the good food to eat is, you'll still be like, oh, but like, will I get enough protein? <laughs> I might die in my sleep from protein deficiency. Not enough whey protein. It's just... So this the, the programming is just in deep. It's like... When I first changed my diet... I went vegan and that. And I was just... Actually, when I first gave up McDonald's... One of my cyclists said... said oh, the McDonald's is shit. They put scrotums and anus and everything in the burger patties. It's just ground beef. It's everything. It's the shit. It's the pus. It's the tumors. It's just mashed up, squashed up, pressed up, served up. And you eat it, and it's fucking sick. And I was like, shit, that's fucked up. I'm not eating Maccas anymore. I'm not eating meat pies anymore. And I go for a bike ride and go, oh, maybe I'm losing my strength because I'm not eating meat pies and Maccas anymore. And I'm like, that's fucking bullshit. Because there's people in McDonald's and shit aren't fucking fit, are they? Fitness is what makes you fit. Carbohydrates give you the strength. You don't get fucking strength from eating a fucking dead animal. Look at this little doggy here. I'm not going to get strength from eating a fucking a dog or a cow or a rat. Training gives you strength. Carbohydrates give you the sugar, the glucose that gives you strength to lift shit up, to run shit down, to ride your bike up a mountain, to swim across the lake or the ocean, whatever. Carbohydrate, glucose-derived ATP. Look it up. So when we understand that, then we go, okay... I just focus my diet on carbohydrates. I can feed my kids fruit. I can find cheap fruit, which is, can be pretty tough. But if you go to markets and stuff like that, like we do a lot and get some good deals, feed them up on rice, steamed potatoes, corn, like those African kids, lean, slim, healthy, robust kids running around. They're not taking AD, A, uh, ADD meds or whatever, which is just dextroamphetamine. Another story, you know. Why can a kid who's classified ADD spend 10 hours on a computer game just 
high scoring that, and then you put them in a classroom, and they can't focus. Why is that? Because the kid's fucking creative. They can focus on the computer game. They can focus on what they want to do. But put them in a classroom of boredom. They're like, what the fuck am I doing in here? Okay, let's give them some speed, some dextroamphetamine, some ADHD medication to perk him up so he can fucking focus on boring shit. Creative kids don't belong on fucking ADHD, DD, dextroamphetamine medication or Ritalin or whatever. That's my personal opinion. People may differ. So that's me as a 14-year-old eating shit because my mum and my dad and just overwhelmed and didn't have much money and they wouldn't give me 18 bucks to buy bananas. And that's the fucking fucked up world we live in. So what can we do about it? Just be part of the solution versus part of the problem. And uh, <laughs> put your tips down below. What do you recommend?